Hi there folks, Gareth here and this is the Honor 8. It's the latest flagship from Honor that they just unveiled yesterday in Paris and thankfully I was there to be able to collect one of the phones and unbox it for you now. Obviously this is a, a bit of a step up from the previous Honor 7 and the Honor 6 which have proved to be very popular phones. Honor were very happy to announce their sales figures have gone up big time. There's a bit of a dent in the box there, maybe from a suitcase. So whilst the uh, the hardware specs might not look totally different from the previous Honor, and indeed the one before that again, it's uh, it, there's a lot of other upgrades going on here to, to give it that extra edge over them. Uh, on the back there's some specifications, but uh, I'll run through them whilst the actual device is booting up. There's nothing else in the box just a phone. Isn't that nice? It's very unpredictable as to how they've packaged it as well. This is obviously the sapphire blue. Uh, there are four colours to be available. Um, there's a goldy colour, black and white, but already I, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, well, I've obviously had a, a wee play with some of the demo models um, that uh, Honor had lying out for us to play with, so I, I know my way around the device quite well. Okay, so we pull out this wee drawer, and this is where we have all the bits and pieces. Okay, and inside here we have... Ah, European. That's a pain. Headphones. Nice kind of in-ear headphones. And then... A USB-C charger. Uh, which is a white, about a metre long. Very standard charger there the headphones which are in-ear headphones okay so they're fairly similar in-ear kind of affair to the iPhone which um, isn't a bad thing but at least they're just that little bit different so that you can uh, distinguish them As you can see here there's a obviously a speaker grill there and a speaker grill here so it should be interesting to see how well these work yeah and then on the line we have we have an inline volume controller and a microphone on the back uh, very standard uh, Y junction there which should hopefully be quite uh, robust be able to take pocket movements and and then down at the very end here we have another one with which uh, doesn't look that great to be honest it does look that like that's gonna fray quite quickly that's unfortunate. However, that said, how many people actually use their uh, in the, the headphones that are included with the device? Probably f very few. So that's what we have there. Uh, on the other side of this, we have another box in which there is a SIM card ejector tool in a credit card style holder. Two stickers, honor for the brave. The quick start guide in various different languages. You don't have to learn various different languages in order to read this. You can just do the one that adheres to you. And a warranty card. And that's that. So the device itself. So it has a 5.2 inch LTPS screen, which is quite nice. And down the bottom here, we have a, a headphone jack, uh, the USB-C connector, and a speaker grill here. Two antennas there. Along this side here, we have the power button, and then a volume rocker, and another antenna there. On the top, we have a microphone and an IR blaster which is nice to see. And then an antenna here too. Down this side, nothing. On the front, there are no capacitive buttons. It's all on screen. And up here we have a front facing eight megapixel selfie camera, which has a lot of uh, added additions to make it top notch. There's a little sensor to the side there and then an earpiece speaker as well. And we're gonna turn it on and then turn it round. So a lot of fuss has been made over this back here uh, because it's tempered glass that's been treated with a particular heat pattern 
that allows the glass to uh, filter light in such a way that it, it's never quite the same color when you're looking at it. And you can see some little rays of it here. Um, and if we do that, it, it's more pronounced. You know, it, it it's very, very stylish, very funky. A lot of people are gonna be very impressed by this. Then there are the cameras here, but if you run your finger over it, they're flush. The uh, LED, dual LED flash there sits up. You can feel it, but uh, the cameras themselves, there is nothing there. So I guess you have to keep that fingerprint free. As you can see, it's fingerprint friendly. But these dual cameras are 12 megapixels. And people are going to say, oh, well, the last one was 20 megapixels, but that doesn't matter. Um, these two cameras work together not quite like uh, we've seen on the HTCs in previous years. Um, they they monitor things and they, like an HDR camera, they'll take very bright and very dull and then try and work out the difference between the two just to help iron out any kinks, work together to produce a better photograph, that kind of thing. And then of course the uh, fingerprint scanner on the back here, which is a smart button too, and you can do things with it. Uh, when you're setting it up to allow it to launch particularly favorite applications whenever you tap it a number of times It will do things very sweet idea very nice So here we go. This uh, is obviously the, the latest version of EMUI Some people like it some people hate it, but whatever you <laughs> you never know you might like this new version uh, Okay, so we'll hit next because we're using UK English um, there's three selections for re uh, region there and then the Wi-Fi settings and we'll just point out that swipe appears to be installed uh, by default okay so we have Enhanced internet experience. This is Wi-Fi Plus services helps you intelligently choose between Wi-Fi and mobile data That's a very nice idea. I've Never really thought it's worked very well, but hopefully in this incarnation it'll work um, Well, it's been out long enough So we're not going to set up a Google account just yet Probably we'll have to we'll skip that and get into the phone Protect your phone set a lock style. We're going to skip that because it's the essentially the fingerprint reader And we're being asked here allow Huawei ID to make and manage your phone calls we'll Allow that and you can set up a, a Huawei um, Account Which I've never done before <laughs> Okay, so fingerprint ID touch control. We'll skip that as well and configuration has been successful Huawei home We'll just enable that. And there we go. That's the, the phone up and running. NFC is on by by default. Uh, Wi-Fi obviously has been set up and it's showing there that there is no micro SD card in it. Or is it a SIM card actually? Which uh, we need to do. We'll just pop this open. Show you the SIM card tray. There we go. So you can have slot one and slot two. And you can see slot one is for SIM and then slot two is for the micro SD card. Simple. And the EMUI is uh, obviously fairly deep into the phone. And we've got a, an update to the language for the swipe keyboard. I imagine it would be fairly easy for you to switch over to another keyboard and that's been updated okay so the camera swipe right to select camera mode swipe left to bring up the settings menu and we'll start the camera and turn on location services this feature requires you to where's the following permissions and we'll enable that Okay, so that's all enabled. And we'll take a wee picture. But there's one thing there. One thing they said is the response time of the camera uh, has been greatly improved. 
Uh, they seem to be very pleased with it, saying it's almost instantane instantaneous, so you don't get people sitting there smirking for a while whilst your camera adjusts and things. A lot of uh, resources have gone into actually making the, the camera respond as quickly as possible. So if we cover it up to give it a real ch test here and go... be interesting to see whether or not those uh, work out quite well and we fire across here and we've got a ton of uh, of options here where we can change the resolution uh, camera grid mute timer audio controlled touch to capture capture smiles object tracking touch and hold shutter button for burst shoot or you can change that actually I'll oh, just focus on burst shoot that's all volume button function you can change it to zoom or just focus and ultra snapshot open camera and take quick snapshot that's a neat idea image adjustment okay so you can play around with the settings before you actually take the picture now under the settings there should be Use this mode to take photos with a shallow depth of field. Recommended for shooting people or objects within two meters of you. So essentially that is a macro mode, which is a nice idea. Then over here we have Uh, various filters that you can throw on to it. I can't imagine people using that too much. And then you can flip it around to the front facing camera. We'll not do that. Okay, so and, uh, and basic flash function. So if we fire across this way, we have proper uh, settings here where we can go photo. We have a pro photo mode, which brings you up with this radial dial, which is quite nice that allows you to tinker with all kinds of bits like the ISO there. The shutter speed, auto focus, auto white balance, all that kind of caper. So, loads of options. Um, beauty shot, which will make people look pretty. Enable the perfect selfie to make your selfies even more stunning. They spend a bit of time telling us about this because. It's an, if you were to use the front facing camera, you can take a picture of you face on and then you take a picture from the side and then you take a picture slightly raised from above and the phone will intelligently work out the lighting to get the best lighting on you. I'm not going to test it right now because I've been traveling all day and uh, I probably look like hell. Video f uh, and also a, a pro approach to the video function as well where you can adjust various different options there uh, beauty video again as well which does something similar uh, good food for photographing your dinner panoramic hdr night shot light painting okay so we have a night mode light painting this was one that they showed off in there we have uh, four different uh, approaches to this where essentially it just uh, throws open the shutter speed and the aperture settings and uh, allows you to do all kinds of um, you know time lapsey type uh, photography. The tail lights, as you can see there, is um, where you just have a blur of the tail lights recorded over a couple of minutes or whatever. Uh, light graffiti, light graffiti, and silky water. And then Star Trek, which uh, allows you to do a, a time lapse on the stars, so you get those radial dials of the stars as they turn. Uh, it's a little gimmicky, but we'll talk about who this phone is designed for in a minute. We have slow motion um, watermark uh, to stump your pictures, so you, you don't have to do it in post. And then audio notes as well over the top, and then document scan, which is for, useful for businesses. So. And, all these things might seem a bit gimmicky, however, they're noticing that the Honor brand is easily being sold to 18 to th uh, mid-30s. They're targeting the youth here with this phone, and having all of those little features and things are just little gimmicks that w appeal to them. Obviously, they'll appeal to some uh, older 
generation as well but um, it is primarily aimed at the the youth who are going to be taking pictures uh, an awful lot and wanting to have little filters and things that the likes of instagram usually have thrown in but they're taking it a little step further that you can do a lot of things on the phone with uh, almost photoshop quality uh, editing skills embedded in the phone and that that's that's one of the big ways that they're targeting this phone and improving the honor brand so inside the phone we have a 2.3 gigahertz octa-core kera 950 processor which is pretty speedy it's a it's a very nice uh, a processor so it should be power friendly and also high on the benchmarks it has four gigabytes of ram to help you handle all of those applications that you'll probably have open and there's 32 gigabytes of storage on board which is nice there's a 64 gigabyte variant as well uh, and that's a little more expensive and we'll come to the price later on the uh, micro sd card is also uh, in there as well so we so that allows you a good bit of expandable storage for all of those photographs you'll be taking there's a 3000 milliamp hour battery inside which should be good paired with that processor it won't burn through it too quickly and to be honest it's the phone looks that it's really going for you know you are talking iphone uh, inspiration here with the curved edges and whilst there's no curved screens like on the samsung's it it just looks like uh, many of the iphone design flourishes have, have made their way into this and that's not a bad thing it really isn't um it's it's a lovely looking device and they've put a lot of thought especially into this this coloring on the back here but as you can see after handling it for a few minutes uh it's it's very fingerprint <laughs> it's it's not they, they should have provided a, a nice cloth or something for you to be able to wipe this down a couple of times a day and they're keeping the price down that's one of the big things they wanted to do here you know this is a, a beautiful chunk of hardware and for 369 pounds for this sim free off amazon or wherever that's uh, that's not a lot to pay it really is a lot of phone for that that amount of money if you're considering something like a samsung galaxy s7 being almost 700 pounds this is half the price and uh, it, it's easily as good looking I think personally and whenever you buy it off amazon.co.uk they're throwing in a fire tv stick as well which is maybe just a a nice little influencer uh, while stocks last of course so the phone will be available on September the 9th and before that time we'll have a full review up on the on the site uh, for you to enjoy I'm going to certainly enjoy using this because um, I I'm looking forward to the camera pi primarily I'm not a big selfie taker, but the, the, the rear camera I, I will be using quite a lot out and around the countryside. So that's the Honor 8 in a nutshell. And we'll, uh, we'll have the review up fairly soon. All right. Take care now.